Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. We're back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. All right, just cleaning up the cleaning house here. Yeah. All right, so this one is from Wolf's Ridge. Uh, I don't think we've done anything from them. Uh, I did have one of theirs, Little Nippert, which was uh, barley wine, which was really good. Um, and this one is Port Barrel Dire Wolf. So it's 10.4%, 60 IBUs. And um, again, this is from Wolf's Ridge in Columbus. Uh, I've been looking forward to trying this for a while. Thanks, Andrea, for uh, the trade. I really Thanks, appreciate Andrea. it. Um, nothing else to say about it except yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. So I probably poured a little too much, but uh, my bad. I was, I was just happy. I was excited. I was very excited. But I'm not going to swirl too much. But it's darkness. That yeah. tan head, I'm not going to swirl. All right. Let's get the nose. nose. Oh, wow. yeah. Dude, it's like Smell. chocolate, cherry, yeah. like that dark fruit. It's what you expect from a port barrel aged stout. I mean, you know, you've, you've got the the typical dark fruit type of wine, which that's as much as I can say about wine because I don't drink wine, but that mm. and you definitely get the yeah. the malt behind it. All right, let's do it. Sweet chocolate. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. Yeah. It's oh, really that's good. good. Mm. Sweet chocolate. Those dark fruits, the kind of like these dark cherries, mm -hmm. and then a little roasted malt behind that. Yeah. But yeah. not bitter roasted malt, just a little little hint of it there. Yeah, I'd prefer a little less malt, but mm -hmm. I mean, I still like it quite a bit. Um, I think that the sweetness from the port barrels really cuts the malt. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, mm -hmm. just a regular dire wolf. What did you have when you went there? Did you have regular dire wolf? I did, it was very roasty, I Very thought. roasty, uh, yeah, because I was gonna say, this is, I can tell how roasty it would be. Yeah, it was one of those big Russian Imperial styles, like that big, aggressive, bitter, roasty, uh, ro roasty, how they're supposed to be. Right. <laughs> um, the mouth is a little thin to me. I mean, it's a good temperature. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not, you know, it's not that oaty thick stuff we were drinking right. earlier. Um, but, uh, but again, mm -hmm. I think, you know, it, it's exactly what they were going yeah. for. The poor like barrel, uh, nailed it. It cut down that big roasty Russian Imperial style, which mm -hmm. I, I like a lot that, that they were able to do that. Yeah. Um, I have to admit, I didn't at first get the mouth feel mm -hmm. like you were talking about it, but it's cause I had a big head to go through. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But a lot of breweries will do that. They'll add more carbonation, which will kind of make up for less of a mouthfeel because um, that yeah. carbonation adds a little mouthfeel yeah. to it. Um, Drink the foam. Yeah. But it, I, I like it quite a bit. No, I really dig it. Mm. As I'm getting more and more into it, the port barrel shines through for me. It, it's exactly what I was going to say. Fruit, the fruitiness of this beer is outweighing, like I said, any of that bitter mm. roasted malt. That's actually going away. There is this bittersweet chocolate base, but the fruit it's is the star. It's kind of on the back end. Yeah, 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 yeah. the yeah. fruit's the star. Yeah, it, it's really good. Um, I have to admit, when, when we were first talking about a trade, um, I was looking for a Canis Mexicanus, and I thought I was gonna get a port barrel Canis, but I didn't realize that was on draft only. And so I was super excited, but then when I found out what this was, I thought, well, I mean, I wasn't as excited, but still, uh, I thought it was gonna be good, because the couple of port barrel uh, stouts I've had have been really good, and this is this is good. Yeah, uh, some of the uh, adjectives, descriptions they use here: chocolate covered cherries, um, extremely smooth, refined characters, fudge and coffee, uh, jammy red wine, mm -hmm. uh, Luxardo cherry, uh, lovely French oak finish. I think those are. I mean, that's yeah. that's kind of much more elegant than what I've said, but. My only knock would be if it was a creamier mouthfeel, you know, without the head, I, I think it would just it, even be a quarter point up. Yeah, if they could, if they could get the, uh, yeah, just a little creamy and velvety, mm -hmm. and then maybe dial the chocolate, like even a sweet chocolate. Okay, like, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, I, yeah that's just nitpicking at a beer because not every beer should be exactly what I want. Yeah. You know, it's every beer is supposed to be what they're going for, but I'm just saying like my personal preference would be smidge more sweet chocolate and a sweet, smidge more mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. um, that would make it top notch. I mean, yeah. it's still a great beer. I'm going four or five. I really dig it. I, I, it's a exactly unique right beer. I really enjoy it. I would, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this beer. Mm -hmm. I think they nailed what they were going for. I think so too. And yeah. I, I just, I love how the port barrels cuts that roastiness. I, granted, I didn't have the original beer, but I can just kind of imagine um, getting how much sweetness I'm getting from the port, yeah. how roasty the original would be. It was. Um, it was a big kick in the face. 
not, not a good chicken to say. Well, you know me. Like, I yeah. I don't go after those big, bitter, you know. I like them, but only in small aliquots. Right. I, I don't like huge amounts of right. big, bitter Russian Imperial styles. Yeah. Thanks again, Andrew. This was a great treat. Uh, it's nice to get something from uh, Wolf's Ridge. Absolutely. And I. Canis coming soon. Yeah. Pork barrels, man. Yeah. They're good stuff. That is. Boomaye. Boomaye. <laughs> anyway, anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks. I still have